Hi, my name is John, John Bosco. I was born on the 16th of August 1815 in a small village called Becky, just outside of Turin. Have you ever heard of Becky? No? I'm not surprised. It's a small insignificant place where not a lot of spectacular things happen. But one important and tragic thing that happened to me when I was small was that my dad died when I was only two years old. And although I was too young to realise, his death had a huge impact on my family. It meant that my mum was left to look after my stepbrother Anthony, whose own mum had also died, my older brother Joseph, my gran, and of course me. And as well as all of us, she also had to look after the family farm. And even though she would have been really sad at the loss of her husband, she taught us that each one of us needed to pull our weight and help with looking after our home and farm. There were lots of jobs to do in the house, firewood to cut and gather, fields to plough and crops to tend. So from an early age, myself and my older brother Joseph, supervised by our stepbrother Anthony, tackled the endless work with energy. Our mum taught us that work was a privilege and that joy would make the work lighter. She was a woman of strong character and tenderness and all who knew her called her Mama Margaret. She was also a woman of great faith and trust in God and brought us up to look for the goodness in all people and situations. In fact, one day, when I was out walking with my mum, we met a priest on the roadway and I said, hello, Father. I was deeply hurt and confused when the priest just bowed his head and walked on. And at that moment, I said with great determination to my mum, when I grow up, I'm going to be a priest. I'll talk to children all the time. I'll do everything for them. She just looked at me and nodded with a smile on her face. But once I had an idea in my head, I needed to act on it. So straight away, I started to learn magic tricks from travelling showmen. I learned to juggle, walk the tightrope, do acrobatics. And then I opened my own carnival show. The admission cost was to say a Hail Mary and listen to me sharing some thoughts from the priest's sermon. In the midst of all this, when I was nine years old, I had a dream. And in my dream, I tried to stop boys from fighting by pulling them away from each other. But the man in my dream, that I now understand to be Jesus, said, no, not like that. Violence won't change anything. Treat others with kindness and gentleness and then they will change and become kind too. My dream made me think that God was asking me to look after young people, especially those that had had a tough time. So maybe you're thinking that everything was easy for me and I had my life sorted, but that wasn't the case. The priesthood meant studies, studies meant school, and you had to pay for school and we had barely enough money to make ends meet, never mind send me to school. But due to the goodness of a farmer who taught me, I learned to read and write and do sums at the age of eight. My first schooling came the next year, when I hiked some three miles every morning to the country school of a priest. My stepbrother Anthony really didn't like me, and no matter what I did to help out and be friendly, he made life at home completely unbearable. And so, for the sake of peace at home, my mum sold a little of the farm to allow me to go to Castle Nuovo to attend public school and to board with a good family she knew. I worked after school to support myself and though I was only 15, I worked in a blacksmith shop, I worked as a tailor, as a waiter, a shoemaker, I even continued to do my magic tricks, anything to get a few pennies and ease mum's burden. At school I did really well, 
And during this time, I didn't lose sight of my dream to become a priest and help young people. And so in 1835, when I was 20, I felt ready for the seminary and the next chapter of my life began. On June 5th, 1841, I was ordained to the priesthood in Turin. I celebrated my first mass the next day in the Church of St Francis of Assisi. I didn't give you all the details of that dream I had when I was nine. In the dream, Jesus told me that his mother Mary would be at my side to help me to look after young people and to treat each one with kindness and respect. And Mary wasn't slow in showing me what I needed to do. Shortly after my ordination, on her feast day, a homeless young boy turned up at my church. I knew I couldn't turn him away, but I needed to help him find a way to feel loved and valued, to know that he had a unique purpose and was very special in God's eyes. That day was the beginning of the Salesian work with young people. Throughout the world now, there are over 30,000 Salesian priests, brothers, sisters, working alongside other young people, teachers, cooperators, youth workers, to provide opportunities for young people to achieve their dreams and to know that they are loved and valued. And so, from the Becky, that small and significant place, great things have happened. And all because I trusted in God's promise to be with me as I responded to his call.